Hello YouTube. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Mine was like a Monday because I work every day, so I don't even notice if it's Monday or Saturday or Sunday. And uh, actually, uh, I think it was Friday. It was my wedding anniversary. Sunday. No, yesterday. I'll see. That's how good I remember it. Yesterday was my 15 year wedding anniversary. And uh, we cannot believe it. I don't know where the past 15 years went. Anyway, um, I do have a Nixie clock. Da -da 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 -da. And uh, before I get into that, I want to show real quick these two altimeters and these are for a customer of mine and he ordered these and I made them and it took me a whole two days because the last one I made was a year ago and uh, I do I tend to forget how to put them together I forget where I put the code I cannot find the code and uh, the whole nine yards and um, by meaning I forget to put them together is because I get new hardware all the time and in here I use some different uh, standoffs uh, brass standoffs that I actually uh, one male one female and I sandwich the PCB together and I screw them in so one standoff is male female the other one is female female I screw them together and end up with two female uh, two females uh, on the outside so I can just screw it from this side and then from this side and then later on now I can then open from one side or the other before I used just regular spacers and I had one long screw go all the way through the front part uh, through the PCB and then I uh, screwed the um, spacer on there and then you had to uh, disassemble it from the back so now it's also possible from the front in case you want to look into it and uh, I showed this before so I won't go into the code uh, I also use slightly smaller uh, knobs for the rotary encoder and I, on this one, I had them, of course, I used the carbon fiber fronts and back. On my personal one, I had actually uh, still the PCB version. Uh, so I changed it out on the front, but I did not change the back, it's still the PCB. And kind of this one, I made two-tone, just for giggles and fun. Anyway, Greg. These are yours. I will ship them tomorrow and let you know the tracking number. So, um, you might remember a while ago I did buy a single Nixie tube and uh, fell in love with it, obviously. And people who like Nixie tubes will understand what I'm saying. And um, I bought this. I didn't do anything with it yet. I just didn't get around to it. I will or want to design my own high voltage uh, power supply for it. It has to run off 5 volt. Most of them are like from 9 or 12 volt and up. And, um, and then there are many different designs. So I wanted to make it as small as possible, obviously, because I want to be able to get it in a size of this with the acrylics that I use here front and back so I will uh, I want to create my own single digit Nixie tube this small I know there are like millions and millions of different clocks out there this is uh, nothing special in that term and uh, I want to make my own little one that I can take with me and show off and whatnot so that's still in the planning and I have a huge box coming from Peter in Australia thank you very much Peter and we just had a 
big back and forth with local DHL. They wanted to, I mean, he is sending me the package as a gift, so I don't pay anything. And um, they wanted to have a commercial invoice, and as, as went, it went as far as they wanted to have the invoices. Peter paid for that stuff. And uh, I mean, uh, that was really crazy. And then what I'm gonna do with it and the description and whatnot. And I don't know what's in the box from the few hints uh, Peter gave me. And uh, anyway, it was a difficult birth, a hard birth with DHL as always. But finally we got it to where they will release the package next week. Anyway, long story short, uh, I'm getting more Nixie tubes and I will make stuff with them. Um, clocks, I don't know if I'm gonna make a clock like this because, I mean, you can go out and buy it already. I mean, there's no sense on reinventing the wheel and making clocks that are already out there. Anyway, if you're interested, keep watching, subscribe if you haven't done so and click the notification bell so you get notified. Anyway, now to this beautiful clock. I just like it. Let me put some things away here. So this is a obviously 4 IN12 Nixie tube clock. It comes with this RGB backlight with NeoPixels. It does come with the stand. You can use it without it and then it sits like this on the desk. But this way it just faces you and it's perfect. It even comes with a remote. But before I get to the remote, um, I of course, what I, I had to personalize this clock. Um, first of all, I did cut. They soldered it, they have the pin sticking out and some even did scratch the acrylic. So I did cut them down and then I went with my soldering iron and went over each soldering point to make it a nice bubbly bubble solder point, solder joint point. Yeah, you know what I'm getting at. And then it had um, brass standoffs. They were a little uh, discolored, so I didn't like those. I did change those around. And then the stand, you're supposed to screw the stand. Let me just unplug this. It comes with a Type-C connector, by the way. And I really like Type-C. I love Type-C. I don't, I will not use micro USB again, ever, ever, ever again. Uh, anyway. The stand, you're supposed to just take the top two screws off and then put the, sta uh, the stand, I don't know if you can see it here, and put it on top of the front acrylic piece. And I didn't like that, so I used, actually I had to extend the spacer that I had with this 5mm piece to get, I think uh, now it's what is it, 25 or 30 millimeters. 20 millimeters. Oops. So my spacers were 15. The ones that were in here were 20. So I added uh, 5 millimeter ones and did the same here. And then I figured nah, I don't like this uh, stand to be on the top of it. Kind of looked awkward. Uh, nothing wrong with it. I'm just picky. So people that know me know that. Uh, so anyway, I didn't have anything. Uh, less than five millimeters so I use a black uh, plastic nut here and then screwed it in screwed the space on here and then the stand and then the top so it will not be on the front but it's on the back of the front panel so that's what I did to this clock and uh, nothing else and when you plug it in, as you can see, it does the self-test. And then it does show the time and the blinking seconds. Now you have a remote. And it does not come with a manual, but the manual you can download as a PDF file. And you can print it out if you like. It's, I think, uh, yeah, three pages long. I, will sh I can show you here real quick. 
so that's the manual in English and uh, with all the technical data the size it's 140 millimeters wide 46 millimeters high and uh, yeah about 50 millimeters deep and uh, there is a description here obviously and if you want to you can print it out and um, I just downloaded the PDF file and then here you have the buttons for the remote so the channel let me now move it a little bit back okay I can see the clock and by the way I have here a music channel running for my spectrum analyzer but the voice turned down obviously so with the channel plus you can turn on and off the clock the receiver is on this side infrared receiver and um, the next button is when you get into the menu to adjust the backlight color of the RGB LEDs of the NeoPixels you can change that uh, with the equalizer you can get into the time mode equalizer and then you have the minutes flashing you can adjust with plus minus plus minus and then you click equalizer again you go into the hours uh, day month and the year and then back to the time and uh, if you go up here if you click on button number one it does show you the minutes and seconds if you click on button two it shows you the time if you click on three it shows you the date the month and day so month day well since it's 10 10 we won't see the difference and if you click on button four it shows you the year and if you click on button five it does go through the test of the neopixels uh neopixels nixie tubes and um yeah, the rest I will link the PDF file. You can find it. I will also link, of course, the link to the clock, which is the affiliate link. So if you use that, or if you use my general affiliate affiliate link, I do get a percentage, and um, I will link also the PDF file, so you can download it. And um, that is basically it. It's pretty simple and as i said if you go into the menu you can also adjust the backlight color of the neopixels and um, since i think um, peter did send me a clock as well i might end up putting this on my nightstand because every time i will i want to know the time at night or in the morning i have to turn around and turn on my phone to see the time I don't have uh, so many clocks but I don't have another one on my nightstand I will probably put this on there um, anyway uh, this is it so it doesn't have any buttons on the clock itself it you can do it on the remote but I kind of like the remote uh, better because you could put this somewhere on your desk or somewhere I don't know if you mount it somewhere and then you can just easily use the remote to turn it on and off and <clears throat> adjust the time one thing i could not find a setting for is to have it automatically switch from time to date and seconds and whatnot so it does not do that maybe i didn't see it yet maybe i'm doing something wrong but uh, as far as i can tell uh, you can set or see the time and date and minutes only by using the remote oh it also has a setting which you can set to 5 10 15 and 20 minutes I think where it does go through the initiation of the Nixie tubes to prevent burn-in as you might know if the Nixie tube is uh, set on one digit for too long it does burn in 
and uh, I actually watched some of uh, Peter's um, videos and saw what a burnt in Nixie tube looks like. It's like the front of it gets all dark and black and then you have a hard time seeing it. So that going back and forth does prevent it. Um, other than that, it's a clock and it does show the time, it's accurate and I really do like it. So thank you Banggood for sending me this clock and if I wouldn't love it too much I would give it away but I love it too much so <laughs> and you can see the RGB lighting which goes through different colors. You can also, oh I saw because somebody asked that on the Banggood side you can turn it off if you like and have only the Nixie tubes uh, because I have that feeling these will be too bright uh, if I put it in my bedroom and me personally I don't uh, it doesn't bother me but my wife complains about being uh, too bright and she cannot sleep so I will probably turn the your pixels off and just have the tube running if I decide to put it on my uh, nightstand anyway as I said I will put the links and in the description there are also links to my Tindy store uh, links to my <coughs> um, Thingiverse account where you can download some of my uh, 3d printed files uh, like these uh, stands uh, actually I'm lying I didn't put those up there yet so if you want the stand um, I will send you the STL files so you can use it these are perfect I made them for my M5 paper and um, yeah um, I think this was it um, one other thing because I didn't show it in a long time if you're doing electronics or any handiwork I got this vice from Banggood as well and I use it every day uh, you can see it's a bit dirty I didn't clean it lately and uh, it has it's heavy I put some non-slip uh, pads on the bottom I should use actually the silicone pads or silicone um, feet that I have that I use on my keyboard but this is so handy as I said I use it for holding stuff and pinching them in and whatnot so if you want to there is a link also again in the description to this wise it's uh, aluminum and with a ball screw and whatnot and it's really really nice not a ball screw but uh, how you call this with the anyway you know what I mean you see it and um, this is it for today so I just wanted to show this again because it's really 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 handy anyway this is it for today and I wish everybody a uh, nice week if you're interested in the altimeter I can make one more before I run out of PCBs and then I could sell you my personal one um, so if you're interested just drop me a message because it was like a year ago that I showed these and um, this is it thanks for watching thank you for my supporters thank you for my eight patreons that i have still below 10 i cannot pass get past that 10. anyway thanks for your support and uh, take care everybody